Well, why don't we jumpstart the series by first taking a look at one of the most popular fantasy sword designs, the Master Sword from Zelda. This is also kind of neat because it saves me some work in commenting on it and redesigning it, because as it is the basic form, it's already fairly usable, with a couple of exceptions. But weight is a general problem that you see with most fantasy swords. Uh, if I look at the guard, it just seems unnecessarily large. And the thing is, you do not want any extra weight on a sword that does not give you benefit. And that guard, it's really not very beneficial. You don't need such a beefy guard. If you look at historical swords, many of them have pretty small guards, really. And that's all you need, because it is a solid piece of steel, after all. And then there is this extremely weird extra piece that you see on most versions of the Master Sword. It's sometimes in a different place, but regardless of where it is, it's pretty weird. Uh, this particular one here, well, it would kind of work if it was uh, placed at the side, where on historical swords you would sometimes find rings to offer additional protection. But the problem is, in most versions that I've seen, it's right underneath the guard, pretty much on top of the grip. And that is completely nonsensical. It doesn't do anything, especially considering how large the guard already is. There are some historical clamshell designs, which are meant to protect the hand a bit more, but that thing simply doesn't do anything, because it doesn't protrude any further than the main guard. And also, in some versions, that piece seems to be solid, which, again, that adds a tremendous amount of weight, which is completely unnecessary. And finally, the grip itself, or handle, if you will, it seems round on most versions, cylindrical. And that's really not what you want on a sword. There were a couple of uh, historical swords with round grips, but it's an exception and it's really not a good idea because that means you can't feel the edge alignment properly. If you have an oval or rounded rectangular grip, you always know where the edge is pointing to. And that is pretty important because edge alignment is what makes the cut. If your edge is slightly off center when you do the cut, it simply won't bite into the target. It won't be very effective. And as far as I see it, having a round grip really has no benefit whatsoever. It's just more of a hassle. The pommel seems fine from what I can tell. So I modified the Master Sword to come up with a version that I think would be more practical. And what I did was first of all cut off some of the guard, because like I said, it's just way too large and completely unnecessary. And I also rotated the guard outwards a little bit, simply because that way you have more area to catch an, an opponent's blade with, or to parry with. It's uh, If it's that close to the blade, it doesn't offer as much protection as if the guard is a bit more open, if you will. And also I removed that weird round thingy uh, attachment that I was talking about. I also made the grip a bit more ergonomic. As you can see there in the center, there is a bit of a palm swell. It widens there simply to accommodate your hand. That's more comfortable. And I also made the blade a bit narrower overall. I don't think it's necessary. I also made the point a bit more acute, which is not necessary. You, you don't have to have a very acute point for it to be, to be effective, but the way it is now, it would be a bit more effective at thrusting. But that's just more of a personal preference thing. And also, I made the grip shorter, because the way it is, it's actually more of a longsword size. And I use longsword as a historical term here, which means a sword that was generally used with two hands, uh, which he does not. I mean, he has a dedicated two-handed sword in Ocarina of Time, which he gets later, but uh, the sword that he uses, usually, in combination with a shield, yeah, that should be a one-handed sword and it should have a shorter grip. That would just make it a bit more comfortable and a bit more wieldy. So now it's a bit smaller overall, shouldn't weigh as much. If I was forced to grab one of these two in a battle to the death, yeah, I would definitely go with the redesigned version. But like I said, the Master Sword is not too bad, really. The way it is, it would be a bit heavy, but then again, you have most of the weight at the grip, so at least the balance wouldn't be too bad. So it would be usable, but it could definitely be better and more practical. 
but in some of the future episodes that are planned for this series there will definitely be other examples of fantasy swords and other weapons that will be far far less useful so yeah something to look forward to and i will have to, a lot to rant about that's for sure anyway thanks for watching